Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton gives credit to Coral Gables resident Roxy O'Neill Bolton for helping pave the way to get elected. I know I'm here because of the struggles of Roxy O'Neill Bolton. I didn't get here just by accident. She fought for my right to get elected. Both women celebrated Women's Equality Day at the Women's Park in the city of Sweetwater. But the public was invited to a treat as those who attended paid homage to the Coral Gables activist. In her day what were very were somewhat controversial uh, issues in terms of women's rights, but she was on the right side. History of Miami presented an exhibit, pictures and even an American Red Cross dress Bolton wore in World War II was on display. Former Democratic governor candidate Alex Sink spoke about Roxy's efforts. Bolton's son was overwhelmed by the support. For me it's just pride. Um, pride being Roxy's son and pride in her work, amazement in her work and her journey and her impact not only in South Florida and Florida but internationally. Roxy suffered a stroke last year which impaired her speech but she's still going strong. She led the fight against women's rights. Roxy founded the country's first rape treatment center at Jackson Memorial Hospital which is named after her. She was also instrumental in changing the names of her kings to include the names of men as she challenged Noah. She also met with presidents to get the point across like Bill Clinton. She's a pioneer and I'm so glad that we're thanking her while she's around to enjoy it. For Coral Gables Now, Rodolfo Roman.